so this is the question where 99 percent of the people fail 99 percent of the people fail when this question was asked and when when i ask everyone answer i will get mostly as a six only okay i think you also give the answer six only but the answer is wrong okay so if your answer is six you are among the 99 percent so 99 percent cannot crack the iit or cannot crack the aims or cannot crack the top most institute entrance examinations okay so because you are striking up at here only you should reach up to the maximum level then only your answer will be correct question every average student will stop here itself they will feel that question is here but question is not here question is where question is here is it understood why it is orbital there is a small difference minute difference between p orbital and p subshell okay so the let us take this is p subshell this entirely what it is p subshell what subshell p subshell okay now this is p orbital this is what orbital p orbital now tell me your answer okay so p orbital what is answer maximum number of electron that can be accommodated in p orbital is answer is good now people are understanding answer is what two okay so don't get carried away by the misinterpretation misinterpretation of a question is one of the dangerous habit so because of this dangerous habit only people are not getting seat in the prestigious institutions okay so at which chem at which chem we strive and give you guidance where there is a chance of misunderstanding where the students are misleaded by using the inappropriate word which will give you which will give you the wrong idea here question is p orbital this combination of these three orbitals is p subshell if question is maximum number of electron that can be accommodated in a p subshell that means one two three that is answer that time it is six but he is asking only p orbital not only p orbital let the question is d orbital f orbital any orbital means one box one box means two electrons so question is not here it is any orbital can accommodate how much two electrons only okay so that is the difference when you study conceptually from a uh, teacher where you are guided as per the mistakes done by the students understood so this is a average question easy question but guided in the wrong direction that type of guidance if you get it then only it is easy for you to reach your target is it understood students so let's stay with the which chem and guided in the right direction and reach your destination easily okay